Yo, what's up everybody? This is me, SXJ with the SXJ Project. Man, I hope you guys are doing extremely well today. Today's Tuesday, so I'm gonna wait a few minutes if you guys are capturing the very beginning of this video, which I know some of you guys are. Thank you for always logging in and being some of the first ones jumping on my page and definitely listening to some of the crazy things that I have to say, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and give a few people some time to log in and to listen a little bit about what I have to say. If you've never, ever watched one of my videos if you've never watched one of my videos shout out to you to this being one of the first crazy ass videos that you're going to hear from me essex and the essex J project and typically what i do and how i get it done right so the title of the video is fucking everyone a real bisexual okay shout out to everybody who is listening and watching no matter where you are around the world no matter where you at miss jacqueline i love you to death because i know that you're going to call me after this you're going to inbox me and say essex i told you about your language i promise you i'm working on it but I definitely got to get some things off my chest today, okay? So, shout out to you. Uh, shout out to everybody else that's listening. Miss Wanda Cook, thank you for always logging in. Uh, Gigi, because you told me not to call you Gail, so I won't call you Gail. Uh, shout out to the person that I'm dealing with, man. Like, wonderful, beautiful individual. Thank you. So, let me go ahead and get this off my chest, and then I promise you I'm going to leave you guys alone today. So, the first thing is, is you got to ask yourself, what's a bisexual? A lot of people say that a bisexual male and a bisexual woman is a woman who sleeps with both men and women. A bisexual male is a male who sleeps with both men and women. So I say all of this to say because I promise you the message is all about just purity and really sticking to yourself and really sticking to an individual that you love and a person that you're supposed to be with. Let me tell y'all something. When we talk about, because I know this shit sounds very boring, but I want you to have this concept. When I sit down and I meet a woman and a woman tells me, hey, I'm heterosexual. I only like men. I don't want to ever date a woman. I don't ever want to be in a relationship with a woman. I don't want to have a threesome. I only like men. I respect that. And when I sit down and I tell a woman, hey, I'm heterosexual. When I sit down and I tell a woman I'm heterosexual, that means that I only like women. I love coochie. I don't want nothing else. All I want is some coochie. That's it. I don't want no man. I don't want no man in the room. I don't want no other man to watch. I don't want no sister wives. I don't want none of that shit. I just want a woman that I love. However, what we don't understand is, is that when we're giving ourselves out here recklessly to all of these other individuals, because y'all need to really understand some shit. See, there is no such thing called trust when you're giving your body up. And I've learned this the hard way. I've always tried to trust somebody. Oh, I want to trust you. You know, we cool. I understand you. You're a good woman. And then I give my body to this individual. I'm having sex with this woman. I'm making love to this woman. I go over there and we didn't got comfortable. You know, at first we used condoms a few times. And then after a while, we probably stopped using protection. She might say that she's on some birth control. Whatever the situation may be. But at the end of the day, guess what? You can't always believe in what this individual really truthfully is telling you. So basically at the end of the day, when you sit down and you make love to this man as a woman, you giving your body to this man, baby, what you don't know is, is how many other women that this man is sleeping with. So the reality of it is, is when you go down on this man, you have all sex with this man, honey, you can't wash off diseases. You can't wash off sexually transmitted fluids. You can't wash off all of these things. So, so many of you women don't understand that you really are the definition of bisexual. Some of us men. We don't understand that we are really truthfully the definition of bisexual because we sleeping with women who sleeping with other men. So it feels like we're all just sleeping together. We taking chances. We taking risks. You're not in a committed relationship with this person. You're just giving your ass up to this nigga. You don't even know who this nigga's fucking. You don't know what other women he's been with. You don't know who he's penetrated, who he's coming in, who he's not using protective sex with. You don't know none of that. All you know is that you're giving your body to this man that you think you trust. But baby, you're not in a committed relationship. This is why on so many levels, I tell y'all to get with one person. Because see, when I put this title up, Fucking everybody, bisexual, everybody logged in like, oh shit, he's going to confess that he's bisexual. No, I'm telling you that you don't understand that by giving your pussy away recklessly, by giving up the dick recklessly, by not sitting down and having a real wholesome, deep, some type of committed relationship with one individual, you are sleeping with multiple people. You are emotionally invested into these people. You're passing energies. You're passing soul ties. You're passing sexual fluids. I'm going to tell y'all while I spoke on this. Because y'all going to be like, well, damn. Fuck my head up. Right? I met this, this shawty. I met this shawty. Woo! She got everything going for her. Good mom. Loving. Blah, blah, blah. Respectful. Some shit pop off. Then I find out, damn, I'm not the only one you sleeping with. I'm frustrated and I want to go off on her, but at the same time, I don't want to disrespect this person. So I'm like, okay, she's cool. She's being cool, but 
Hey, shit happens. Fuck that. We're adults. Shit just don't happen, baby. I'm sorry. But you know what, though? It's not my place to put nobody's business out there. It's not my place to be disrespectful. It's not my place to judge. But you know what, though? It is my place to check myself. I have to check myself, y'all. I have to tell myself, yo, why do I even fuck this woman? I don't, I, don't, I don't care how single I am. I don't care how much I trust this woman. I don't care how cool she is. I got to stop trusting people because people are trusting other people that's trusting other people. And we obviously know that many fucking people can't be trusted. So I'm taking chances. Every time I trust somebody, I'm taking an unnecessary chance. Now I get it. Somebody real smart is going to come in and say, well, just because you're in a relationship don't mean that you can trust them. I've already said the shit. But you know what? It makes me feel better knowing that, hey, I am committed to this person. It's nothing wrong with some exclusive dick. It's nothing wrong with some exclusive pussy. Because I promise you, I don't mind having some exclusive pussy to wear. Baby, all that coochie right there, that's just my coochie. That ain't nobody else coochie. There ain't no, oh, well, I was kind of doing some, oh, well, things just happened. Or, oh, well, damn, shit, I'm grown. I can do what I want to do. I don't have to answer to nobody. I told you I wasn't. I told you I was single. Hear me out, baby. You right. You told me a lot of things. You told me a lot of things, but you didn't tell me how many niggas you fucking. You didn't tell me how many people you let hit you raw. You didn't tell me how many other fucking possibilities was out there. And you didn't tell me every time I penetrated you, every time I kissed you, every time I went down on you, every time I ate the pussy, every time I sucked the titties and I bite the neck and I pulled the hair. You didn't tell me that somebody else is doing the same thing that I'm doing. Because let me tell y'all something. This is the real. Excuse me. This is the real. The real is, is that if I'm about to... I done, Girl, I done picked the legs up because I like picking legs up. I done picked the legs up. One leg, like, got two legs like this. I'm about to go down. I'm about to go down. And right before I put my mouth on that pussy, right before I put these lips right there and I'm about to eat it and I spread it and I suck on the clip, baby. You don't stop me and tell me, well, you know I let a few other people eat it too, right? Or if I trust you and we use condoms at first and now we're not using condoms and I put my dick inside of you and I pull out, I'm finna come. You didn't tell me what the other guy pulled out too, right? It's the same thing with you sisters. Right before these brothers get ready to penetrate you, right before you get ready to go down, these brothers don't look you. They don't pull your head back up and tell you, well, you know she sucked it too, right? Well, I let a few people suck it this week, right? And better yet, before I go ahead and stick it in, you know I stuck it in a few other people, right? Because I want you to understand that when I sleep with this woman and then I come sleep with you, baby, we all slept together. So guess what, baby? You bisexual. When I sleep with a woman with unprotected sex and this is not my exclusive pussy and this woman sleeping with other men. God damn it. I feel bisexual. I feel like I'm fucking these niggas, too. Man, I feel like I'm fucking these niggas, too. And I know I ain't gay. I know I ain't bisexual. So you mean to tell me that you didn't give me a chance to, to, to claim my own sexuality? You just gonna make me bisexual. You just gonna have me fucking these other niggas without telling me and giving me a chance. And let me be real with y'all. Let me be real with y'all. We at a point, we at an age right now to where whoever we date probably didn't fuck and have sex before. I get it. I get it. I get it. But you got to understand that it's a such thing called paperwork. It's a such thing called respect. It's a such thing called just etiquettes, man. It's a such thing called value and having love and respect for your body and being real with me. Because at the end of the day, I'm being real with you. Baby, you got to be real with me. And if you ain't real with me, I don't fuck with you. Done, over with. You can be mad all you want. You can have an attitude. You can say that I'm starting shit. Baby, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. But the one thing you can't tell me is that you was real with me. So guess what? Fuck you. It's really simple. Fuck you. Because you couldn't be real with me. So if y'all are just logging in, the topic of this shit is, the topic of it is, is that, hey, we fucking everybody, a real bisexual. And what I mean by that is, is that if you're a woman and you trust in this man and this man's sleeping with all these other women and not telling you, not only are you sleeping with these men, but you're sleeping with these women too. Now I'm going to go ahead and break it down in a different way. And then I promise y'all, I got to get up out of here. All right. I got to get up out of here after this. But there's a such thing called an emotional threesome. Now, some of you sisters feel like, damn, I don't fuck with no woman. Baby, yes, you do. 
Because let me tell you, your emotions are intertwined with another woman's emotions that's intertwined with this man. You got two women giving up the pussy to one man or few women giving up the pussy to one man, being emotional to all of this one man. You feeling a certain way, she feeling a certain way, you fucking him, she fucking him. See, listen, y'all are in a situation ship and you don't even know it. You don't even know it. Y'all sat back. So many people got mad at me last week. They was like, oh my goodness, girl. He mentioned polyamorous and shit, girl. He was talking about polygamy. I ain't sharing no dick. Baby, every time you give up some pussy without a committed relationship, you are sharing dick. Period. Period. You have to understand that every time you give up pussy or every time a brother gives up dick without being in a committed relationship, you sharing your woman because all of these men hopped on my page and said, man, I, I just can't see myself being a, a, a brother husband. What, what brother? You not a husband, but you is another brother that's sleeping with another brother that's sleeping with his sister. You stuck your dick in the same place he stuck his in. And you don't even know this man. You don't even know his name. You don't know nothing about this man. But you sure share some pussy with him. So you mean to tell me that you can share some pussy with somebody and risk your life and, and go down and, 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 and suck on the pussy after he didn't got through fucking her. And, and you can do all the freaky things that you do, baby. Oh, Lord Jesus. Because we always talk about how we freaks and shit, right? See, here is the most hilarious part about it. Here is the most hilarious part about it all. Everybody want to talk about how they freaks. Yeah, man, I ain't going to lie. I lick a little booty. You know, niggas be talking that shit when girls ain't around. Eat that ass. Put my put my thumb in that motherfucker Essex. I promise you, man, I be having them jumping. Pussy be jumping. Make her do all kinds of shit. And I be thinking to myself, well, damn. Really? But you just told me how you had the, the, the pussy jumping on somebody else last week. So you mean to tell me you got like two or three different pussies jumping? So that means to tell me there's probably some other niggas that got the pussy jumping. So that means that you put your thumb in it and you tasted it and you tasted him because he tasted her and she tasted him who kissed you. And then, well, I'm lost because it seems like y'all fucking everybody. Y'all fucking everybody. Now I get it. I get it because a lot of brothers going to be like, well, look, man, this shit's the G code right here. I fuck these bitches, man. I get down. I do my thing, brother. That's what I do, man. I run through these hoes. And I be thinking to myself, well, brother, you know, if you fucking her and pushing her on and you leaving her with these emotional diseases, feeling all insecure, hating men and shit. One, you're fucking up our women. Two, you're fucking other men. Three, you're passing on some nasty shit. And all of you extra freak motherfuckers who ain't in no type of relationship. You don't know this person. This person ain't been waiting on you. You ain't been waiting on this person. Baby, y'all bisexual. All y'all... Extra freaky ass niggas, y'all bisexual. Y'all fucking other niggas, and y'all don't even know it. That is the biggest game of all, is that everyone wants to try to make you feel exclusive in the moment, but you are not exclusive at all. At all. So this is why it's so important to say, you know what, we're the age to where, first of all, if I got some young 20-year-olds or some folks in college watching this, I know that a lot of this shit may not apply to you because you sitting back like, well, you know, yeah, he talking some cool shit, but I still do what I do. But I got some 30-year-olds in here, late 20s, mid-30s, early 40s. Baby, why is you still giving your pussy up to a motherfucker that you don't even know? To a motherfucker who you can't even talk to? A motherfucker you can't call when you want to call? A motherfucker that can't do nothing? Nothing! You got to have a connection. You got to have some respect. You better know this motherfucker. You better put a condom on. You better do something and stop fucking everybody that he's fucking. And you better get your paperwork. That's real. So look, I'm up out of here because I don't want to take too much of y'all time. But that's the fucking truth. All right. So when I sit back and I talk about these relationships and I talk about this love and I talk about finding my one queen and I talk about marriage and all of these arrogant ass motherfuckers and all of these old biggest, all these old depressed ass, all these old emotional scorned ass women who like, ah, girl, now he want to talk about love and shit. How long did he fuck us over before love? Look, time the fuck out before you come on my page and understand that it's called growth. And that we learn and that we figure this shit out. And today we didn't figure it out. And today we understand. And so we got to live by this shit to where you got to find you one good motherfucker who's going to take care of you, love you, respect you. You can share your body with you, can open up to, and you're not living a bisexual life against your will. 
Because if I pull half of you motherfuckers in a room and say, now how many of you women like women? Ain't nobody gonna raise your hand, but you fucking a nigga that's fucking other women that's fucking you. So you might as well like women. The same thing with you brothers out there. I don't fuck with no niggas, man. Hardcore G. Straight love pussy. Yeah, you love pussy. You love pussy so much to where you've been sharing pussy with a whole bunch of other men. You sitting around watching everybody fuck everybody, and then you want to go fuck everybody. You nasty little dick motherfuckers. Y'all better calm down. Now that's real. Shout out to everybody for listening in. I'm up out of here. I love every single one of y'all. Holla.